The Maneuver Center of Excellence is comprised of the Armor and Infantry Schools. These schools are the basis for what every Armor and Infantry soldier does throughout their Army career. So it would come as no surprise that the leadership of those schools would be the best and the brightest. That's just what Fort Benning received in a ceremony welcoming the newest Commandants. Colonel Paul Lachlan and Colonel David Haight assumed command of the Armor and Infantry Schools. One hasn't been here in a long time and the other is coming home, but both are excited about their new positions with the MCOE. I am absolutely stoked to not only join the team here, but to be at Fort Benning, Georgia. I was only here two weeks of my life in the military, so this is new to me and I'm very excited by it all. I'm very uh, glad to be back home at, at, uh, at Fort Benning. Like he said, pretty stoked to be the uh, Commandant of the Infantry School. When it comes to how they'll run the infantry and armor schools, these commandants have their own philosophies. We have to be a caring uh, unit and or organization uh, so that our soldiers understand that they are taken care of, they're trained, ready, agile, and adaptive to uh, either fight today in our current wars or in the future wars. Commanders set the priority, they set the example, they uh, uh, develop junior leaders, and then they identify and mitigate risk every day, and that's either in training or, or in the combat in, in environment. The newest additions to the maneuver team are eager to help General McMaster make the best command team in the Army even better. We got to hear quite a bit from General McMaster and his, uh, his direction. We feel great about it. Fort Benning is in good hands with the new command team as General McMaster, Colonel Lachlan, and Colonel Haight all help lead the MCOE into the future.